far as rebounding and getting balls off the glass and putting them back in a goal, he's done a lot. What about the transition, Philip? Obviously, you, know, you had a taste of it in Tennessee, but getting back into this type of thing, what's it been like for you? Yeah, it's a big transition from Juco coming and being a Division One player and just getting used to like the workouts and coach's style of play and stuff. But I think I'm doing a pretty good job with the team and developing well. And you know your role. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an easy role yeah. to, to take care of, isn't it? Yeah, it seems like it's just rebound, block shots, and protect the paint. Easier said than done sometimes? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Markel, how much better are you? Is there, is there any one thing you, you took the off season to work on and said, I'm going to get better at this, and you've been able to do that getting ready for this year? Uh, I think my attitude and just my, my jump shot, I've worked on that a lot. Uh, and I think uh, those things are going to help the team out this year. Markel, one of the first things you said was your attitudes change. Um, talk about that along with the team chemistry this year. Uh, team chemistry this year. Uh, we've been a close, close team this year. And uh, it's, it's going to be way much better than last year's team uh, as far as on the court, talking, and helping each other out. Can you talk some about that with, uh, along with the struggles on, you know, on the road before? Uh, I know at Big 12 uh, Media Days, Coach talked about there were some distractions uh, on the team and you felt that maybe contributed to some of the losses on the road. Do you feel those distractions are kind of gone now? Yeah, I feel those distractions have been taken care of, like, as far as the players. And not saying that the players that left was a distraction to the team, but as far as coming together as a team, just it's going to work out better and on the road for us. Can the coaches impact team chemistry, or is it something the players just have to do on their own? It's something the players done on their own, as far as going places with each other, hanging out at each other's apartments. Uh, we just done it on our own, and it's, it's been great for the team. It's proud of you guys, maybe both. But it's not your first rodeo. It seems like you guys are the trendy dark horse pick. Is that a comforting feeling, or would you rather be you know, pick number one? How's that go? Well, I think it's better to be an underdog and to fight from the bottom and then to prove people wrong and just so we go out there with the kind of chip on our shoulder every night and kind of get after it. I feel like wherever they put us, we still going to have to prove ourselves. Uh, even if we just pick one, we have to prove ourselves uh, to maintain that spot. And being picked seven, we still have to uh, work our way up to the top. How do, how do you like Stillwater? I like it a lot. I adjust to it well. It's kind of different from being in Chattanooga and kind of a city atmosphere, but being here, especially with the team, how close we are, we go do things like go bowling and stuff. So it's been pretty fun. How different is it for you compared to the one at the school you were previously at? Well, Juco alone is just different from uh, Coach Price's style at Juco and then Coach Ford's more on top of us and expects a lot more out of us and just at Juco you're kind of on your own and here you like you know what to do and you just got to go out there and do it. <laughs> is it a similar playing style or is it? You, no, it's a lot fast. It's a lot faster here than Juco and like you got to do a lot more stuff than than you would at Juco. Is that going to be one of the hard things do you think for you just the, you know, the speed of the game getting up and down the court as a big man? trying to adapt to that faster-paced style of Big 12? I don't think necessarily the speed, but probably the competition would be a would be something to adjust to. Markel, you guys have a chance to play twice in about two or three weeks in Madison Square Garden, uh, but you got to earn the first one there. As you look at the schedule, is that those trips, is that what really has jumped out to you before you get into conference play? Uh, yeah, those trips have jumped out to us because we have a really tough schedule this year, so playing great teams before conference time can really like put us on the map and just put out a good word for us. Brian and Michael were in here a minute ago, and, and uh, uh, Brian is seems very confident in his jump shot. <laughs> <laughs> should he be? Yeah, he should be. Uh, day in, day out, he's in the gym working on it. And uh, during practice, he's he's constantly knocking down shots. 
So I don't see why not. And that's the thing that it was not there on a consistent basis last year. Keaton couldn't get open. Sometimes guys would be hot, sometimes they wouldn't. Is that the biggest thing you think is missing from last year that you'll have this year? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I also think we have a lot more weapons on offense. Uh, we're adding LeBron, Nashville, and Caesar. Also, Mark. Uh, I think we can uh, do a lot of things with those uh, people. When uh, Caesar, is he going by Caesar or CJ? CJ. CJ? Okay. When he went down in practice, what was that like? Uh, it was scary. Uh, not not able to see him move. Uh, it could have been way worse than what it was. It was just scary for the whole team. Did it take you guys a while to kind of get back? I mean, I, Coach took you off the court, didn't it? Yeah, it, did. it was kind of scary seeing him down there, especially him being a younger player and coming in as a freshman. You don't know how well he would bounce back, but now that he's back, yesterday was his first day of practice, so he kind of bounced back better than we thought he would. So Did he just kind of like like nothing had happened or could you kind of tell or was everybody kind of I don't want to I don't want to bump him too hard or what was that like? I don't think you could really tell like we weren't like we weren't timid in touching him or stuff like that like we knew he got injured but it's just like he, he was before he left. There was an open practice the weekend as a short said when he, uh, when he came back and the crowd I think gave him a standing ovation. Uh, what was that like to see just the fans supporting him and just him being there was, was great. You mentioned uh, LeBron. Um, each of you talk about what you've seen from him because there are a lot, a lot of athletes that you guys are going to put on the floor this year, but he's getting a lot of the hype. Is it deserved? Uh, well, I guess it is deserved. Uh, he's a terrific player. Uh, day in, day out, he comes to practice, working hard. Uh, He's just phenomenal. He's a good basketball player. What have you seen from him, Phil? Yeah, I agree with that. And then kind of seeing when I was at Tennessee playing with Scotty, he came in and he was he kind of played that role that LeBron's playing now, and he kind of fits the pitcher better than, or not better than, but just as good as Scotty did at Tennessee. So Scottie it was kind Hobson. of yeah, Scotty Hobson. So it was kind of it was kind of nice seeing him do that and living up to the hype. Mark Kelly, could you talk about how LeBron doesn't play like a freshman? Oh, he don't look like he a freshman. <laughs> God's huge, man. Uh, he, I don't, I don't see him as a freshman. Uh, when I go out on the court with him, uh, he's a pro player to me. Uh, he go out, uh, he bang hard. He's very physical. Uh, he just, he's great.